the faces in the torus. So, and you notice when you render, press F9. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> this looks goofy, but okay. So the face is upside down now, kind of. Let's just do this real quick. Okay, there's the face. The face is happy. Um, you notice when you render, it's that it's there. It is. But why isn't it? Why isn't that it there on the viewport? Why is it green? Why? Well, by de by default, this button is turned off. If you turn it on, it'll do that. Now, if you have this on and you have a billion things in your scene, it's going to bog down your scene. It's going to lag your computer. That's why that's off. But we only have like three things in the scene, so we're completely fine. Um, let me sorry. P it P goes um, to per perspective view. I'm turning this guy, pressing R, and just moving him around just so we can see it. Okay. Isn't he such a happy, happy guy? So if you push this button, go to parent, it goes back to the main thing. Um, you can also click on this button. Material map navigator, and it'll show you in a drop down system saying, Okay, you have this, you have this material or this, this map on this material. Um, same with this. So if I select, so if I make a billion, if I make a billion more, so if I go to specular level, specular color. Let's click on that. You can choose. You can. Um, you can choose whatever you want. But for right now, where I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find tiles. Tiles is a good one because if you look at the thumbnail, um, let me up the tiling. Let's make it a good even number. Just ten by ten. Let's go down to advanced down here. We're gonna make that gap. Bigger, make this two by two. Twenty-two. Whoops. Two by two. Um. Now, if you look on the on over here, whatever is black will not be specular. Will not shine in the sunlight. Whatever is white will shine in the sunlight. Notice. Also notice over here, like uh, I was saying before, there it is. So you can go back, or you can just go, you know, back and forth, back and forth. I usually don't have that open because it tends to bog down your system. Um, but back to the lines are black, the cubes, the squares are white. Um, notice over here, it's gray and gray. We can change that. Change that to white, see, it's more specular. Change this to black, it'd be way less specular, see. Let's hit the back button. Uh, we can just get rid of that right now. Uh, glossiness, it's the same thing. Uh, self illumination, we went over that earlier. It makes whatever that specific color 100% saturated or whatever um, let's go to the next one opacity opacity is fun so we're gonna hit opacity nothing happened obviously because we don't have a map um since I already have this map going on right here um first of all let me move this up because the thing I'll show I'm gonna show you won't you won't see it unless you move that above the plane um I'm gonna press uh, since I already have this map called map to the tiles, I'm going to press and hold control, move it down to opacity. Now it's asking for an instance and a copy. The difference between an instance and a copy is an instance is whatever change you make to that specific thing, which is the tiles, it will affect every other in every other instance. 
and a copy is just a copy. You can you can change it, morph it, color it differently, whatever you whatever you prefer, and it will come out. It'll it won't change everything else. So I'm gonna make a since since it's gonna be the same. I'm gonna keep it an instance. Now you notice the you know uh, the black the black is transparent and the white is you know uh, not transparent. So it looks like that. So you may be asking even here and here you may be asking. Hey, how come I don't see? I, I only see one facing going on. Why why can't I see the other side of this this head? Why can't I see inside his head? Well, you can. So go all the way up in the material editor. Go all the way up. We're gonna hit two faced. Um, it probably isn't the greatest example to do this, but. And hit F9 anyways, um, and you can you can see behind his head, you can see the other side of his head. Um, so if you imagine this go this going over and then around something like that, it's to see the other other side of anything really. It's very very neat. Um, wireframe is just the wireframe by the way which is always pretty cool to show your um, progress so if you hit wireframe in two framed it's a great example see so it's going all the way around faced just shows your faces um, it doesn't smooth out over here where it says smooth the reason why you don't see the, the 32 polygons because it smooths it out. Um, I don't understand. I don't know a single reason why would you even want that. Maybe it's for like optimizing for a video game or something. I I just don't. I don't get it. Um, okay, so getting rid of opacity. Bump. Bump is great. Bump is pretty cool, but at the same time, people overuse it. Like. A lot. Um, I use bumps in everything. You technically need a bump in everything. A bump map is a fake extrusion of something. Let's say you have you you're looking at this guy's face and he's like uh, he's got some blemishes here and there and wherever. Obviously, those blemishes are gonna bump out, extrude out. Um, and same with skin texture. Skin texture, if you look at your hand right now, you'll have bumps. Like tiny, tiny bumps. Wicked tiny, specular, glossy-ish bumps just going everywhere. Um, that can be caused by bump map. Now it also bogs down your system when you render it. Um, not a lot. It de really depends on your system. It depends on your scene. So we're going to throw the same thing that we did before the tile on on the bump. Now if you look at here, it's extruding it out. If I render it real quick. It's extruding it out. Um, but one one bad thing about this is if you zoom up to an edge. I can see this edge you render it notice it doesn't actually bump in and bump out bump in bump out it doesn't actually physically bump the surface um, there is a way you can do that and it's called displacement and it's down here and we'll get to that um, but normally you don't get that super super close to someone's face if you do then you have to model it or use a displacement map but um, I will tell you displacement maps cause your causes your computer it displacement maps bog down your render time and it bogs down your 
viewport 